A week ago, I was considering getting my hair cut into a bob again after watching myself back on my last video. My hair looked so dull and dry and it had just lost the shine of my youth. The tipping point for me was this picture taken on the same day where my hair looked frizzy and frazzled. So I spent the evening searching up hair oils and I was just about to order an expensive argan oil based one when this lower cost product from L'Oreal caught my eye. And with just the press of an order button, my hair worries were pretty much over. In just one application, my hair went from this to this. But there is a little bit of a catch. So let's find out more about L'Oreal Elvive's Extraordinary Oil. So the product that I bought, which I've linked to in the, the description below this video, is an 100 milliliter bottle of L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Oil. And it cost me only £6.43 on Amazon. I will link to it on both the UK and US sites if you want to take a look. In the UK, it was reduced uh, from its recommended UK retail price of £9. And it caught my eye because it had nearly 4,000 ratings on Amazon, averaging 4.7 out of 5 stars. So people clearly love this product. As I said earlier, I had been on the verge of buying a, a more expensive uh, product from a different brand when I noticed someone in the review comments saying that silicon was among its major ingredients and that it was the silicon and not the oil that was giving hair that spectacular shine. So that made me think twice um, about buying it and I thought, I would try, you know, looks for something more natural. So I kept going and based on the rave reviews for this product, that's why I went with the LV oil. And it's not often that I'm blown away, if you pardon the hair pun, by a product, but this really did make an instant difference to my hair. So in just a few pumps, it completely smoothed out my hair and left it feeling light and silky. The flyaway frizz was tamed, and unlike a lot of hair oils, it doesn't leave your hair greasy and weighed down if you apply too much. In fact, my hair just seemed to drink it up. So I expected that having applied a lot of oil to my hair after washing it, then by the next day, it would start looking kind of greasy again, but it didn't. It was uh, still shiny, silky and light the next day. So just like it says, extraordinary. But as with so many things in life, there is a catch. The oil, which is why I bought it, was, is marketed as being the product of precious flower oils. And there are flower oils in it, such as sunflower and coconut and chamomile. But when I was checking out the ingredients, I noticed something right at the start. The primary ingredient that's listed is called, bear with me, cycoplentasiloxane which is also known as D5. That's what I'm going to be calling it from now on. So I googled it and what do you know? It's a form of silicone commonly used in hair products and lots of other cosmetics because of its lubricating properties that leave that kind of silky smooth feeling. So I looked the ingredient up on the Trusty Healthline website. I'm going to link to the article below as well so that you can have a look. It says that in the past there was controversy about its potential health and environmental risks. But the US-based cosmetic ingredient review panel set up by the industry, but it does work independently, considers it safe to use in cosmetics. It does also add that in 2018, the European Union introduced restrictions on D5 use in cos cosmetic products that are intended to be washed off quickly before it evaporates. And that was due to a risk of it accumulating in the water supply. And, and that's one of the reasons that D5 is considered a more safe form of silicon. It's because it doesn't appear to be absorbed into the skin, which is comforting to know. Rather, it evaporates from it. And it's used in sunscreen, conditioners, deodorants, concealers, eyeliner, lipsticks, foundations, loads of commonly used products. But 
at, as far as I can see anyway, there doesn't seem to be any sort of hard evidence of it being harmful to us or the environment in any way. So for the time being, and considering the results that I, I, I got, I'm going to keep using it. In the instructions, it talks about using three or four drops of oil on your hair, but the way the applicator pump works is that one pump will give you at least that. So one pump is giving out several drops of oil. And so I would say one pump is probably enough for the average person. I have quite long hair, quite a lot of it, and I had to use two to three pumps um, on wet hair depending on how it feels. You can also use on dry hair though. And again, it doesn't, doesn't go greasy when you use on dry hair. Yesterday, when I washed my hair, I applied three pumps of oil to my wet hair and I, I filmed this. Um, and then I, I rubbed a bit more on the ends at the front, which just still felt a little bit dry. Um, and when I blow dried my hair, as you can see in the footage, the oil hadn't weighed it down at all. So it seems to be those lighter flower oils, but also the D5 in action there. Um, I didn't need to apply any more oil after styling. And this is day two now. So I filmed myself washing and drying my hair yesterday. Today, this morning, I haven't washed it. Um, and I was able to apply another pump of oil to my hair before using hair irons to curl it. So it's a weightless oil that you can keep applying as needed, even on the days you're not washing your hair. So it's very lightly and pleasantly fragranced. It has a, a kind of natural, soft coconutty smell, and it's not gonna offend anyone's senses. You're not gonna not like this because of the fragrance. So let's take a look again at the difference between the before and after picture, where you can see how smooth and shiny my hair is after applying a few pumps of the oil. And that was the first time that I used it that it made that difference. So it seems to bring out the highlights in my hair. It leaves it glossy and manageable without weighing it down. Now, if I could find a totally natural alternative, minus the D5, that left my hair looking like that without weighing it down or leaving it greasy, then I would definitely consider it, even if it was a little more pricey. So if you can recommend a great, totally natural hair oil, then let me know and I'll try it out. Um, I use straightening irons to curl my hair a lot, so it has dried my hair out, particularly at the ends. And the good thing about this oil is that if you use it before styling, it will protect your hair from the heat up to 230 degrees. So I'm overlooking the D5 for now, I'm sticking with this. Uh, I did have to laugh at the product description though, which sort of talks about the precious blend of six floral extracts but fails to mention that key D5 ingredient. And Laurel, of course, are not alone in doing that. It's a widely used ingredient by lots of well-known household brands, and they all do the same thing. But I would prefer it if companies could be more upfront about their ingredients and be clear about what they are, how they work, you know, what the evidence is behind them. So, um, that would be helpful, I think, to all consumers to help us make a choice about what we're using and why. I hope you found this short review helpful. If you did, then by liking it, you help support this channel. And if you subscribe, you can watch my upcoming videos as soon as they're published. Next time, I'm gonna be sharing my results and thoughts after using the new face microcurrent facial device for four months. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.